Yes, so Oh, video games. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with the... This, this is going to be the first edition of My Court After Dark. I got your boy, Brutal yes, Sim, in the building. I got I got brood in the building. Brood, brood, brood. Tell him, tell him something, man. Say something. First off, what's up? What's up? Don't know brood tells him on the scene. What can I mean? Man, where's man, your shirt, man? Me, man? Man, where's your shirt? I am not dog. I'm not. Home. Why? Why you had to tell him that this your? Shirt why you home. had to tell him that this is your shirt? I mean, this is your court and not mine, man. I, I, they they know that. They probably know that this ain't my trash ass court that I be normally having. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the topic of this thing. Yeah, I'm, why, I'm gonna you try drink, to, why you drinking my shit? Bro? No, I told you I'm not sitting because I, I can't because I can't sit over here without drinking the Gatorade. I told why, you. This is why I don't invite black people to my place, man. Hey, hey. you already go in my refrigerator and shit. Like exactly. Shit. There ain't nothing over here, man. Let me get a few of these Gatorade. You must be sponsored by Gatorade or something, man. What's going on? Why am I going back in the refrigerator, man? What they, yeah, what they, hungry. yeah, yeah, exactly. What they should have done is let you be able to go in this door right here, and then like go upstairs or something like that. But that would have been too creative. I'm, you can, you can sit over there. I'm gonna sit up. Matter of fact, this is what you should have did. You should have came over here, man. Then we can sit across from each other. You gonna sit on there? I'm not sitting. All right, on the, all right, all right, man. I, I was just trying to watch the TV. Man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm gonna stand up though. But anyway. Easy, easy, easy niggas, man. And anyway, yeah. man. Uh, anyway, we gonna we we are here today to talk about. Hold on one second. Let me throw it up on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! From the desk of Baluba, aka Mike Wong, we have. <laughs> I've been working on shooting sliders for Pro Am and Park that gives a slight boost to open. I mean, a slight boost to open, and uh, a slight hit to contested shots. Do you want it? And, and it looks like the results are, I, I voted you damn right for everything. And uh, it was a resounding <laughs> yes. And it's uh, 65%. 17% said put it on park only. But th th those are obviously pro-am players, right? 6% um, said yes, pro-am only. That right there to me shows you that the park, the park com community this year is much smaller than the pro-am community, right? And then... Yeah, one man. says, and then, and then, and then the I guess the community that plays both is probably the biggest though because they said put it on both, put it on both. I don't oh. give a damn. And fifteen percent people they said, oh, uh, you know, they say leave you shooting how it is, bro. What, what, what do you think though? I mean, let's just. Oh yeah, like I said, man, this is my court after dark, man. Every night we are gonna tackle a topic, oh. or or we gonna tackle something. You know how brutal rants. Well, I'm gonna tackle a topic. I might even yeah, invite man. one of you guys from the. Uh, from the community or whatever, yeah, you know. Once in a while, man. But, but y'all gonna have to stand or sit by the bar or something. Yeah, exactly, man. Cause you know, we leaning back on motherfuckers. <laughs> anyway, but what what you think about that, bro? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna let you go first, and then I I will tell you what I think. What I think about uh. Man, I created a shooter, man. <laughs> I, let that bitch fly. Let <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm officially in the game right now. You already touched my slasher. All right. I'm going to rant about that later. Right. So, Damn, you falling fall fall asleep on the couch and stuff? I'm, I'm hey. sleeping, man. I'm asleep. I'm bored. I'm asleep. Just buff that shit already. Please. Exactly, man. This is what I think. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think anybody has an issue with missing a contested shot ever, right? Like if it's contested, I think we as 2K players have come to the point where we're saying, yo, that was contested, I shouldn't have shot it. I think that's what we, exactly. that's what we're saying. Now, we're probably, we're very surprised when we hit a contested shot or a shot when somebody closed out late. But when we're wide open, we don't expect to miss. There are enough, there are enough yeah. shots. I don't mind missing don't open shots there, if the person is a bad shooter. Especially for a sharp shooter. Right. I don't mind missing Especially open shots. Right. I don't mind missing open shots, but the rate at which you miss open shots that are a complete white bar, that's stupid. Crazy. Now, if I've got, if I got, you know, a quarter Crazy. of the, you know what I mean? If it bounced back and I got a quarter of the bar, um, that's, that's not filled in, that's one yeah. thing. And then you know if it if it bounces back, you know you probably gonna miss like eighty percent of the time. Yeah. And if you if you stop it too early and it's a quarter of the bar, uh, you know more than a quarter, you know more than that little 
that you know what I mean right at the end if it's more than that um, and it's a shot that you should be taking I really don't have a problem with it but missing wide open the white one, bars the one that hurt that, the one that hurts is when you fill out the entire bar and it's completely white exactly first, first, man let me ask you a question what's the purpose of the white bar nah, I don't know For real. it's just like the all white bricks like I miss man. so much white bar it's crazy and like, the thing and the what did that be? And the thing well is, it it's just like last year. It's just like last year when when you would shoot one and it's right on the line. You'd be like, yo, that's on the line. And you miss. Yeah. I mean, we missed a lot of shots last year, but it wasn't like this. You might miss one here yeah, and there. Like yeah, you might miss one here or there that was on the line. But it wasn't like this. So like I said, if they're going to punish people for taking bad shots, this is what this, this, is what this translated to to me. We're going to start. We're going to punish people for taking bad shots more. And we're yep. going to right. reward people for getting open. Like, if a person is shooting a wide open shot, I never have a problem with that going in. I don't know who in their right mind has a uh, has an, an issue with wide open shots going in. I don't think anybody. I think we're we're just surprised when they miss. We're like, Whoa. exactly. Or, or unless they hit like. That's it. What? I'm like, like one thing they might have to nerf though. Right. They might have to nerf these screens, bro. Yeah. Yeah. These are going to get crazy now. I got Hall of Fame pick down, so I ain't even worried about it. But yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> hey, look, you saw what I did earlier today. I said, dude, put me on him. I got Hall of Fame pick down, he ain't going to be able to screw. And that no. dude didn't score the rest of the game. Yo, we played a game earlier That's today. In, we played in Pro Am, and I had my, my defensive guy, and the dude scored. He, he scored, like, they kept screening Nunu, so Nunu couldn't play. He couldn't, you know, he couldn't. Um, play defense the way that he wanted to. So they kept screening him. So dude just he just was sprinting off five screens and shoot a shoot a wide open three. And uh it was going in. And then they put me on him. He didn't quit. But the rest of his team quit because he just got locked down so bad he just kept going at me, kept going at me. And his team Right. And it was just bad shot after bad shot because I got Hall of Fame pick dodging. It wasn't nothing he could do. But that, that's just a little story. But anyway the, the thing is, like, I think, like, after somebody hits maybe five or six wide open shots in a row, oh, I'm, I'm boring you now, that's what it is. After somebody hits, like, five or six wide open shots in a row, you probably expect them to miss their sixth one. But I don't expect to go two for, I mean, one for two or one for three on wide open shots. I expect to go two for three at the lowest, but I, I don't understand. Like, if you look at somebody like Steph Curry, Steph Curry shoots 40% from the floor or, or almost almost 50% from the floor and like 40, 45% from three. But if you look at his open shots, I bet he shoots greater than 80% on open shots. He so, ain't going to miss that shit. He's not going to miss that shit. And no, not really nobody in the NBA is. This so is a video game, bro. Exactly. It's come like we're better than Steph Curry. We got 94 three points. So exactly. So you know what I'm saying, like just like Swan said, if it's contested, we should miss it 80% of the time, and if we're open, you should hit it 80% of the time. And if it's a slight contest or whatever, that's up to your skit. That's up to your stick with the skill. Slight contest, I feel like it's late closeouts and stuff like that. I'm glad that they stopped penalizing us so bad for those late ass closeouts like they did last, last year. The late closeouts would just make you brick like you had to be. Blast ass open to shoot it to shoot last year. This year, you know, you can your dad eyes actually help. So you know it is what it is. Like I said, if they're gonna if they're gonna anything that makes the game more playable and, and we're gonna see less splashing in my face when I'm right there, and then you know, if, if I can't get there, I didn't get there. That's my fault. That's what we just say. Hey, look, if dude wide open, we just be like, hey, that's me right there, man. Hey, we just yeah. Cash. Hey, we just you hope he missed. You should wide open. You should know it's good. It's good. You you should know that. All right. You so, gotta play defense. I don't. They're easy to deal. Sharpshooters are very easy to stay in front of. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So you know most of them can't. The only thing is those screens, bro. Those screens. I'm telling you. Screens do kill you, but like I said, I think I think that we'll learn to play. Like if they're taking a hit on contested shot, because sometimes you get there late on the screen. And it's really a contested shot, but you know they, they um, you know you weren't in the picture well enough or whatever, or it just doesn't affect them because of the dead eyes. So if they're gonna take a hit because of that, then you know it, it, it might be, man. But like I said, I think everybody's gonna have to get picked dodge, and we're gonna have to learn how to play screens better because obviously this year, this is the year of the screen, dog. You can't stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you really, yeah. you really can't stop screens. Hold on, man. My damn mouth getting dry, man. Hold on one second. But yeah, you really can't stop screens this year. Like they, at least the illegal screens are gone, right? But um, but you know, 
I'm country as hell. You damn right I'm drinking out the bottle. But um, at least the at least the moving screens have been taken care of. So more often than not, people are getting the foul calls. So that, I'm cool with that. But I think that um, I think the biggest thing is, I think the biggest thing is um, is that oh yeah, you can't sit over here. We got to go over, go over to the other place. I, I think the biggest thing that, that anybody was saying is I. I really don't believe that anybody had, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I don't think that anybody, had, I don't think that there's one person that had a problem with people hitting open shots. I think the biggest issue was just with people hitting contested shots from the get-go. They should have never touched open shots. That's how I feel, and it feels... Exactly, man. Like, I don't think, what do they do before they pass these things? Who do, who do they ask? Like I said, they ask people to actually play the game. No, nah, they can't. There's no way that they're asking people to actually play the game or play the game as much as as we do. You know, a casual player won't notice stuff like that. But like I said, the day that the game came out, I was like, the game just doesn't know what's contested and what's not, and that's why I'm hitting shots with people yeah. right in my face, and it doesn't matter. And then they changed that, and then you know it got better. But it's still the amount. I'm I'm not at all upset with the amount of of um contested shots that people hit right now but if it's gonna go down a little bit i'm cool and and then open shots are gonna go in a little bit more i'm cool with that too man you know um it just is what it is man i mean i mean i mean we can play but we're gonna be able to play better defense and uh and we're gonna be able to to do everything and you know people always say that it's gonna devalue the um the the defensive stoppers anybody that believes that touching the sliders is going to devalue um, defensive stopper players, you never played a defensive stopper, you never played against one, a good one. Because the value of a good defensive stopper in this game or a good uh, lockdown defender, you, you can't you can't put a value on that if you got one on your team to be able to just say, hey, this dude getting off, sick him, go get him. And it, like like you you can't put a value on that. And like I have me one of those. Exactly. So you know, I'm telling you, man. One thing, something that you probably gonna end up seeing is a defensive stopper at point guard in in pro am like in the tournament. You're probably gonna see that. I'm telling you, man. Point guard should just be passing the ball and hitting blast and hitting like open mid ranges and stuff anyway in this game. So you can afford to put a, 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 a lockdown defender at point, but um, or you know, it, or or the two or the three, you know. But you just gotta have some shooters around him though. But I can shoot with mine though. But you know, it is what it is. And if he's gonna be able to shoot better when he's open. Hey, more power to it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for y'all today. Bruce, you had anything else for the people, man? Uh, um, free the slashes. <laughs> Make slashes great again. Make right, slashes. You. <laughs> Make slashes great again. Oh, right. my God. Come on, people. We need to save the slashes, bro. Yeah, you right, right about already that. saving the sharpshooters. Come hey. on, let's fix back the game and make you fun again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I told you, man, when you jumped over that dude's head, that was the day that they turned. They're like, yo, these Negroes are having too much fun out there. Hey, hey cut the slashes Bullshit. balls off. They cut. Hey, but it is, it is what it is, man. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, let me know. Do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? Should they just leave the shooting alone? Or do you like the, the way that they're going? I think anything that's going to help open shots is fine. Just don't boost up the contested shots. And like I said, that's why they put the patch out because the game couldn't determine what was open and what wasn't. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to see how this goes. If it, if it, if it, it may result in more and an increase in screens, but hey, does this mean we got to step it up a little bit on defense, man, and that uh, lockdown defenders will become even more vital, uh, an even more vital part of the game. I'm working on a lockdown defender point guard, so... I'm going to show y'all how that is when I'm playing the perimeter with with the <laughs> lockdown defender point guard with Hall of Fame pick dodger, man. It's going to be crazy. And he's almost he almost there. It's probably going to take me about a week to get him, but y'all will see him sometime next week. Maybe even this week if I can get him to where I want to. I just got to get more VC, so I got to play more Pro-Am. So if y'all want to play Pro-Am, if you got a big... What are we looking for in Pro-Am and walk-on, Brute? We're looking for shooters. Um, and yeah, and a good point guard and some shooters. Yeah, and a defensive big man. We want, you don't have to be a defensive stopper or or you know, a position. You have to be a big man that plays defense and take pride in playing defense because you're going to be down there with your boy. So you're going to be down there. I'm, I'm going to play the four with this guy and you're going to be playing the five or I'll be playing the five. You'll be playing the four. It don't matter. I just need a defensive minded, rebounding minded partner. You don't have to have a defensive player. I just need you to be defensive minded and 
take pride in defense right. and, and horsing somebody. Don't let them get no uh, rebounds. Anyway, man, video already been too long, but that's the trend on YouTube. The longer the video <laughs> is, uh, the more views it gets. I, I, I don't know why, but you know it just is what it is. Make sure you leave a like. And uh, do y'all think that this uh, My Court After Dark is a good idea or is this whack as hell? Y'all let me know. I don't uh, know, man. Yeah, uh, don't, even, don't even bring that up. That's a different discussion for a different time. Hey, I say my mean, court. This is my court. This is what we doing right now, the discussion. My Court After Dark, man. Oh, what is you talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh. Y'all let us oh, know. Right. And who should be our who should be our first guest, man? Y'all let us know that, too. And um, we out of here. Till next okay. time. Hey, take, take yourself out, Brute. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him who you is, man. <laughs> and go check out Brute Channel, too, man. A lot of, lot of uh, yeah, cheesy it. content over there. All right, guys, now you can go. Why the hate, bro? Huh? What? Anyways, man. <laughs> anyway, man, much respect, y'all. <laughs> Hell, free, oh, free the slashes. Hashtag. Free the slasher. Hashtag, hashtag free the slasher. Hashtag make slasher greater than that. That's, yeah, that's all yeah. I gotta say. Man. And we're gonna I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be start that trend right now. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about what yeah. actually got them nerfed. Like what what we noticed. We notice every change you got. Mike, listen, I know you watching the video. I know you watch my videos. We notice me, the the mastermind and the guru, we notice every single change you make. Every single Everything. one. Down to the, down to the, like, we can, we can go in the game yesterday and come back today and be like, yo, Brute, is this different? This feel different to you? Because, look, <laughs> I know we was abusing people. I know we was abusing people with, 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 with taking them inside with the guys that we had. We know this, okay? I know, right? But, yeah, and, and, and we know exactly what you nerfed, but you know, it is what it is, man. Hey, just, just, just invite us out to the team up. We'll take care of y'all, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. But anyway, we gone, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And I hope you guys have a day, that is. <laughs>